How excited are you to get going this season? So excited. Um, we've been counting down the days every day. Coach Bear will be like, so how many days until season? And everyone will just blurt out the number because she's so not focused on that. But everyone cannot wait to get on the field together. We scrimmage a lot against each other. And so we cannot wait to face other people because our games and live and everything is so intense that we can't wait to bring that energy onto someone else and really bring the 27 on one mentality onto another team instead of trying it against ourselves so we can't wait to just get going and I think you'll really see how well this team gels together and what you're going to expect the rest of the season at that first game. What did you like about your season last year? What are you most proud of? Um, I'm proud about how I adapted to my new culture and how I got along with a lot of the girls and how I really stepped back into my role as a leader and I gained my confidence back and I really just became the player that I once was, you know, after having a baby and stuff. Sometimes it's hard to get back to the person that you were. And I think Coach Bear last year really helped me find my confidence back and she really engraved the confidence that she saw into me that I finally understood, like, I'm here for a reason. I need to, you know, get out of my head about certain things and be the leader that I need to be for my team. And it's not all about me, it's about the team. So once I got into that role, that's when I started thriving more and started just, you know, my confidence came back. And now I know that I do the best when I feed off of others and I don't focus on my success or my failures. When I like, um, when I dive into my teammates and their successes, that's when I get the most out of myself. You set personal goals though going into this season? Oh yes, I did. I've set personal goals. Um, my biggest goal is I would love to get Golden Glove. That's my biggest thing. Um, love defense. Me and Coach Jen have been working a lot on my craft as an infielder. Um, so, and I believe that I can do it. And so that's my biggest goal for this season. For personal goals, obviously as a team, want to make it to Oklahoma World Series. That's always the goal. Um, this year, we're so confident that that's going to be a reality and we're going to make history. And so I would say that's our biggest goal. I noticed that, the confidence there. 11 seniors, that helps aid that confidence, doesn't it? You have a veteran lineup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so nice. We do have a very veteran lineup, veteran team, um, and it really helps the young ones. I mean, they can pick our brains about certain things. We've been around for a while, so we kind of show them the way, lead by example. And if they ever need anything, I mean, we're, I feel like we're such an open group that it doesn't matter if you're a freshman, it doesn't matter if you're a sophomore, like if you need something from us, we're there and vice versa. Like we're not afraid to ask them for stuff, like because we're such a close unit that it's like, there's no divide. It's everyone's family, everyone is viewed the same, but it's just, we're a little bit older so we can help you with things that maybe you're not familiar with. Coach Bear has recruited class after class that's been highly ranked. What are you seeing from the freshmen and the younger players? Oh my gosh, so much talent. Like, I feel like every year it's like more and more talent. It's like, wow, like she does such a great job recruiting and adding what we need to like our culture and what we need on defense in the lineup, like pitching wise, like she just knows what she's doing. And I mean, it's only her, what, fifth, sixth, season as head coach and she's already evolved this program into something that it never was before and it's only going to go up from here and that's because of her and what she's doing to this program. Coach is always scheduled tough. You've got the tournament in Clearwater, you've got the one in California, and you've got this tough Big 12 schedule. Projected fifth. What do you guys do with that when you hear the middle of the pack? It's not like being projected to win the American. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of like it. It's a chip on our shoulder. I mean, it's we just have something to prove and that's okay and we knew that we were going to be in this position because obviously we are the new ones coming into the Big 12 where obviously there's the Oklahoma and the Texas the Oklahoma State so all we can do is focus on ourselves and when we do get the opportunity to play against those teams we need to just do what we know how to do and play our game and not focus on all the outside stuff and so when we do that we're gonna be very successful and when you're home especially how important are the home crowds and the fan support you can feel it can't you when you're out on the field oh yeah it's it's so amazing I mean we come out and people are already in the in the stands like like so many hours before the game even starts and that's just the support and the environment and 
it's unlike anything I've ever experienced and I love being at UCF because the crowd is so amazing and you know, it's not that big of stands, but you just feel the presence and you feel the energy and you feed off of that every single game. So as you get ready to embark on this season, what are the emotions? You're excited, uh, but there's, there's got to be a mix of emotions, right? Yeah, definitely a mix of emotions. It's definitely bittersweet because it really is my last season, and I don't think it's quite hit me yet that I'm actually not going to be, you know, here next year um, at UCF playing in a uniform, but... You know, I wouldn't want to end my career anywhere else. And it just makes me so happy to know that I was blessed with this opportunity to even get to UCF and to meet all of my new teammates and all these girls and build these relationships that are going to last a lifetime. And so I just can't wait to, you know, finish my career with all of these girls and to make history this year.